I want to talk about movies in the mind. Scientists at the UC Berkeley Neuroscience Institute were able to make movies by mapping the brain activity of people in an MRI machine. To me, this is just fascinating because when I saw what they did, it was like an oh my God moment for me. I think they've solved a little piece of the puzzle of how remote viewing works. Remote viewing, as we know, is a technology developed in secret by the U.S. military in the 1970s. It was used as a form of psychic spying, and it has been proven to be valid and true. Remote viewing allows us to obtain non-local sensory information across time and space. Here's how it might have been used. You want to know what's going on in a hidden structure underneath a mountain in a Russian base in the Crimea known as Object 221. Well, a remote viewer can describe it without physically going there. We know remote viewing works. Okay, so back to the experiments in the MRI machine at Berkeley. The scientists at Berkeley have, I believe in essence, given us a backward look at how it's possible to form images from the signal line. The results were published in the journal Current Biology and video of what they did was documented by UC Berkeley and it was published on YouTube. They put test subjects in an MRI machine. All right, these subjects watched movies while the MRI measured blood flow through their visual cortex. The scientists mapped brain activity by dividing the brain into small three-dimensional cubes that graphically and visually describe shape and motion. The scientists were able to take the activity in the brain and translate it into computer graphics that eerily represent the movie. If watching a movie creates a pattern of brain waves, can you turn that backwards? Can creating a pattern of brain waves form a movie? Well, do you ever dream in full color? I do. When I remote view, the first thing I do is I look with my eyes closed for an image known as a visual ideogram or pictogram. It is often smeared and blurry, distorted, indistinct, but it's there. So when I saw these images from the Berkeley experiments, my first reaction was, yes, that's what I see when I remote view a target. Look at these images. This is one of the best depictions I've ever seen of what I experience when I remote view. That is very much what it looks like. All right, we know that if remote viewing works, something has to trigger activity in your physical brain. Information enters your brain and your brain responds to it. Now, some are told, well, you get an impulse that your brain decodes as wavy across, and that represents water. You will draw a wavy line without ever closing your eyes. But why not look at the lake? That signal that tells you wavy across can be turned into visual imagery if you learn how to do it correctly. If scientists can decode brain signals generated by moving pictures, you can turn that around on itself and turn brain signals generated by the superconsciousness into moving pictures. If a movie creates brain activity, can brain activity create a movie? Yes, that's what they proved in this research. If brain activity can create a movie, then remote viewing brain activity can create a movie. A movie in your mind.